How about making a contrast? Here's some good phrases for contrasting. These events are so great. These events happen so fast. These events affect so much. These events cause such changes compared to. So that's the contrast right there, compared to. So this is great, this is fast, this is so much, this is a lot of change, compared to. So this is A, and then this is going to be topic B. So A is great compared to B. A is fast and B is slow. A is much and B is not so much. A causes such changes, but B does not cause changes. So each one of these is the A section, and then we're going to move over to the B topic. That's a great way for contrasting. How about summarizing? We have found results showing. We have found a result that. We have found the consequence of. Consequences of. We have found these results are due to. We have found these consequences follow from. So here we're doing the kind of summarizing one section before we move to another section. And how can we do that? We have a summary of what we just talked about. So we talked about A, B, and C. And so A, B, and C are showing something. A, B, and C are the results of something. A, B, and C are the consequences of something. And these results are due to A, B, and C. And then something follows from A, B, and C. And now I want to move on to the next section that I want to talk to you about now. This is a great way to signal that one part or one bit of information is done. And now we're going to move on. However, nevertheless, on the contrary, even so, On the other hand, in contrast, otherwise, it is important to realize that, or it is important to see that, or it is important to study something. So here we have a very good, very common use. However, so A, however, Next is B. A, how, however, nevertheless, B. A, on the contrary, to B. A, even so, we still have to look at B. A, on the other hand, is B. A, in contrast, is B. You see, so all of these are about signaling your transition to the next bit of detailed information.